Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Pimentel and I'm a flight attendant for an airline in the United States and I am also a pilot. I am completely done with all of my ratings that I need to get done, but I am in this weird limbo phase of working as a flight attendant and still getting my hours as a pilot to eventually get a job working as a pilot so I cannot be working as a flight attendant anymore. And today I am gonna kind of take you guys on a new adventure with a new airplane and a whole new operation. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video and see what we get up to today. saw me go inside of is the Douglas DC-3. It used to be a very successful airliner in the past and it was first flown in 1935, making these planes around 89 years old, roughly. But oh my gosh, that is quite a long time that these planes have been around. So this airplane is from the company that I will be spending the day with, but we will not be using this airplane to fly. So stay tuned so you can see what we get up to. All right, everyone. So I am here at FXC in Fort Lauderdale, and this is the airport that I did all of my training at, but this is the airport that I will not be flying this beast, but somebody else will be. And this is the tail number of the plane. It is a DC-3. So the plane that you saw earlier is also a DC-3, but that's not the one that we're actually flying. So I am flying, I'm gonna be, I'm here because of him. A mechanic for um, the airline that I actually work for and we met through a mutual friend and now we are gonna be he's flying this so he is basically gonna be the first officer here and then there's a captain who I have not met yet and then we are gonna be going on a flight and taking it to it's a cargo airline taking it to um, the Bahamas and then coming right back so this is a cool experience for me because I'll take any experience in the air on a different airplane to see a new operation any day so this will be super exciting and Anyway, flying is so fun and it is cool to see and meet new people because of aviation. So. deck definitely not that much different than actually what I have seen in the multi but anyway they just loaded up all of the cargo they're doing all the paperwork the fuel the weight and balance and then we are going to be on our way to the Bahamas Let's go. Source. Okay. static source normal fuel selectors Ripping in a minute then. Right engine, right main detent. You check the cap. I check the, the right? caps both okay. taps uh, they're both topped off okay. and the main, 30, 30, 35 45 yes sir uh, fuel computer, None. fire warning, done. I'll check them on. Flight controls, go ahead. Go up. My side is down. Down. My side is up. Okay, I'm going to the bottom, let's check the
are everybody so this is Alex Madeiros and he is the captain of this DC-3 that we just well he you guys just flew into uh, the Nassau Bahamas um, yeah so tell me about the airplane and how long you've been flying uh, the airplane is an amazing plane to fly you know it's kind of almost a different airplane to fly it takes a little more skill than a regular plane I've uh, been with the company since 2008 Quite well already, uh, quite over 6,000 hours in this kind of thing. 6,000? Yeah, that's, that's a lot of hours. That's a lot more than me. <laughs> it's, it's my experience to fight the plane. You know? Whenever we go, you see people turn their heads around. Just, what is that? Yeah, how old is this airplane? Uh, this especially is from 1943. Okay. So it's a little old. Yeah, it's a little old. That is yeah, pretty old. But you old. see, it's still flying. Yeah. It's in good condition. You know? Yeah. Well, thank you so much for letting me come on this flight. It's been a pleasure and you, you flew really well. So thank you. Yeah, pleasure. I hope you enjoyed the experience. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, everybody. So this is Soleil. He is the first officer of this wonderful DC-3 that we just flew in here. And the reason that I'm even here right now. So tell me about the plane and tell me about you. So I've been here a little less than a year. And it's been an amazing experience. I want to thank Sergio, uh, the owner of the company cargo for uh, giving me the opportunity to allow to allow me to fly such a beautiful bird. Uh, World War II, she's still flying. I feel safe in her. Uh, Chief Pilot Alex, you guys met before. Amazing, amazing pilot. Learned so much from them and uh, it's just truly a beautiful opportunity. I just, I, I'm speechless sometimes as to uh, what I have to say, but thank God for all the blessings uh, he's given me. Yeah, it's been super fun um, flying because me and Soleil have been flying together in his plane. So it's been cool to get an experience like flying with him now here in this plane and in the Cherokee. So yeah, thanks for letting me do this with you guys. Aviation is a school of world, so we all got to help each other out. Yeah. And uh, one hand washes the other, as they say, right? Yeah, I love that. Yeah. So you guys, uh, so this, is, this, this bird has been in D-Day. Right here, you got a bullet hole here. They've been patched up in another bullet hole here from DD. So, for you guys who don't know what that is. He is the first officer of the DC-3 that I was flying today um, and the DC-3 that he was flying today and the captain was flying because we all flew it. So yeah, really great experience. And the fact that they let me actually get to fly and get a feel for the airplane was just the cherry on top of an awesome day. I mean, when are you really going to have the chance to be able to fly a DC-3 in your life? It's not really that common. There's only so many of those airplanes left and it's just a really old airplane. So most people kind of get turned off by it, but I actually thought it was extremely cool and being able to learn something new about a different airplane and just overall the operation of the way that this part 135 company operates going taking cargo to the Bahamas from the United States is actually really cool. So basically the day started off kind of crazy because I was supposed to meet Soleil in Miami to fly to Nassau and then go to Fort Lauderdale and then back to Nassau and then back to Miami. So unfortunately I ended up hitting like this terrible, terrible traffic in the morning and I missed that first flight, but he actually flew 
four flights today and then was basically started around eight o'clock in the morning and then finished at like almost seven and then had to drive home and stuff. So it's definitely a long day of work if you are actually working, but I only flew those that I was only on those two flights there and then coming back. So definitely short for me, but a lot longer if you're actually working, but a great way to build your hours in order to go to the airlines or a stepping stone to something else or even um, as a lifelong career because it's a pretty cool plane. And you know, if you're doing turns all the time, then you're home every night. So anyway, there's just so many different routes that aviation can provide for you. And there's so many different journeys that you can take in this industry. And it's just really nice to be able to see different options, try out different options, and then possibly choose an option. It's pretty cool just to see different types of operations and how the aviation industry works. But anyway, what a great day. What a great experience. I hope you all enjoy the video and enjoy the footage of flying and of the airplane. And yeah, I really appreciate all of your support. I will see you in the next one. Beijing, ciao, ciao.